Hello everyone, I'm Jimmy. Welcome back to the Jimmy's English Storytelling Session. Today we're gonna keep up telling stories about the Romans of the Three Kingdoms. So today will be chapter 3. Okay, let's dive right in. So last session I told you um, about that He Jing, he intends to call the heroes all over the world together and beat Dong Zhuo. Yes. But Cao Cao advised and suggested that the eunuchs, what well, eunuchs of those who, well, you understand the point, they cut their whatever, you know. Um, anyways, Cao Cao claimed that the eunuchs, so many eunuchs all over the place, because eunuchs sell things and people give some money. So all over the world, a lot of eunuchs and the guys who are friends with the eunuchs. But He Jin didn't believe him. He thinks that it's some kind of fake thing that Cao Cao does. And he even suspected Cao Cao for being like mm, the same thing or friends with the eunuchs. So Cao Cao came out saying, The one who messes the whole world up has to be He Jin. Must be. And also, not only Cao Cao did it, but another two guys, Mm, Lu Jin, Lu Zhi, and Zheng Tai. Those two are both people who work under He Jin, and they also suggested the same thing with Cao Cao. And He Jin suspected all three of them being the friends of the eunuchs. Well, it's stupid. He Jin never listens to anyone's ad advices. As though as he already made his decision, or the tough man. Anyways, Cao Cao just left. And Lu Zhi and Zheng Tai did together quit their job, quit their power. And they went back to their own villages so that they wouldn't be involved in this predicted terrible disaster. Okay, moving on. He Jin printed, well, not actually with a copy. That would be weird because they don't have copies then. Anyway, they just copied anyway, wrote or just use some kind of like special technology to print it anyway. Okay, sheets of paper that tells the heroes all over the world, for example, hey, you, 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 and you, come, beat Dong Zhuo, and you, yes, you, yes, yes, all over the world, like, okay. And well, of course, they has to get here, especially Dong Zhuo. Dong Zhuo is mm, always someone who he has this desire just in his mind, in his heart, that he wanted to be the emperor someday. But he didn't dare do it right now. But this is a perfect chance, you know, because he gets to get very close to the emperor. But anyway, when all the soldiers came, the 10 eunuchs who often serve the emperor, mm, they already knew the thing. That's terrible. So they told it to the Queen He Ho um, that uh, He Jin is intending to kill them and uh, they actually wanted He Ho to He Ho the Queen um, just like for example to save their lives and you know what He Ho the Queen she actually like um, agreed well that's kind of stupid because everybody in the whole world knows that these 10 eunuchs are just like the worst guy in the history of the world ever had if i am her i would rather die than save one of those lives but anyway i'm not her and she's not me so she intends to let her like like uh like the ten eunuchs to go into her jeans like um, temper but the ten eunuchs cried well fake cried actually and said if we go into there we would be dead already and they wanted her jin to come in and he ho the queen she made the order to let her jin to come in Yuan Shao um, and Cao Cao, of course, they already knew 
that if Hu Jin actually comes in there, Hu Jin would be the one who is really in trouble. But Hu Jin didn't believe it. He said, I have the power of the whole world. Who would possibly be daring to do anything to me? But anyway, Yuan Shao and Cao Cao, they still brought an army and followed Hu Jin. But the order of the emperor and Hu Hu, the queen, of course, they announced that Hu Jin was allowed inside to talk about the eunuchs and others do not come in. So there's no, no method because it comes from the queen and the emperor. What can they do? So Hu Jin came in and the ten eunuchs said, You bad guy! You poison others, mm -hmm. and if it wasn't for us, you wouldn't be here sharing this kind of great power and money. And now you, you are trying to kill us. You're such a bad man. Today you're dying here, and all the armies, like behind the curtains while they arranged, came out and killed Hu Jin. Actually, in a very cruel way, because it like uh, said that they chopped Hu Jin in half. <laughs> That's terrible. You wouldn't even imagine it. So after a long time, Hu Jin still haven't come out because he's dead. And Ben Shao yelled, Please, the general, would he get on the car? And the 10 eunuchs, Mm, they threw Hu Jin's head off and said, Hu Jin is a bad man and now he is already killed. The others who helped him, we will not see you as guilty. So Hu Jin, uh, no, Yuan Shao, I mean Hu Jin is already dead. He's hell. Yuan Shao and Cao Jin, Cao Cao yelled, Everybody, eunuchs, kill the worker. Everybody come in, kill them. So they all killed him and suddenly, no matter who they saw, as long as they are eunuchs, they kill them without even asking who they are. So nearly all of the ten eunuchs died, and so the so did the other eunuchs too, except Zhang Ren and Duan Gui. Mm, they um like uh, how to say that? Like they caught Chen Liu the king and the emperor together like pulling their knife and say go go with me or oh, i'll kill you and the four of them ran out but the army behind already chased them and Zhang Rong saw that this is getting really obnoxious that he jumped into the lake and died of course Whenever somebody jumps into the lake, they don't say that he died. They just he says he jumps into the lake. And that's really lame because nobody knows why. Who can tell you if he can swim? They should say that he drowned, if you ask me. So anyway, this can be some kind of rule. But Zhuang Gui, he just ran away. And he, well, if in like modern movies, they always do things like, do not kill me or he is dead but he just ran away and that's really lame but anyway the emperor and the Chen Liu king they didn't know whether those armies were really bad guys or really good guys so they just hid in the bushes and that's it after all the army ran away um, Dong Wei also got caught just like I predicted before I even saw it and Dong Wei said that he lost them so he got killed <laughs> Well, very happy now because the 10 eunuchs who always serve the emperor to the bad guys are already all dead. Good. But the scene hasn't stopped yet because Chen Liu the king and emperor, they went to uh, the house of Tui Yi. And Tui Yi is the son of Tui... Um, of like... Uh, Tui Kuang or something, and Tui Kuang is one of the workers that very close to the emperor, although he's a good guy. So Tui Yi, he gave the two of them some food and a horse, and they like 
the emperor and the king together. They rode the horse and of course went back. But halfway, like halfway through, somebody, of course, you may already guess it, Dong Zhuo, of course. He rode a very good horse and ran up there saying, Where is the emperor? Where is he? Chen Liu Wang yelled, Are you here whether to protect the emperor or to kill the emperor? Dong Zhuo said, Especially here to protect, of course. Chen Liu Wang pointed at the emperor and said, The emperor is here. Why don't you fall on your knees? Dong Zhuo got so surprised that, well, of course, he got down to his knees and waited in the left. Mm, so Chen Liu Wang also, Chen Liu the king, sorry, he also said some good things to Dong Zhuo. Mm, and of course, Dong Zhuo found out that the emperor didn't even say anything for the rest of the journey. And Chen Liu Wang is the one who says everything. And Chen Liu Wang never messes anything up. So since then, Dong Zhuo has always kept a strong desire, like a thought in his mind to... um. Let Chen Liu the king be the emperor and the emperor be somebody else. Somebody with a very lame power. Um, let me see. Um, so of course that's what he did. Because, you know, Dong Zhuo is kind of a very bad guy and he does what he thinks. Um, he made a very big feast, invited all the workers. And after wine, they drank wine and ate. Then he said, um, <clears throat> I have an announcement to make. Today, the emperor is too bad. He did nothing except messing things up and getting close to eunuchs. So I'm thinking about, do you not let the emperor now be the emperor then any longer? Let Chen Liu the king, who I actually detest on him and he is a very good guy to be the emperor. Um, a lot of workers, they are actually afraid of Dong Zhuo, so the only thing they could do are agree. But of course, Ding Yuan and Lu Zhi, those are two guys that didn't agree. And they all left angrily because Dong Zhuo was also very angry. Since I think that Dong Zhuo is angry just because that his evil plan was like stopped or disagreed by these two lame workers and the two workers are angry because wow Dong Zhu did such an evil plan and he is angry with us that's ridiculous um let me see of course Ding Yuan was about to be killed because Dong Zhu always want to kill those guys who disagree with him but Somebody behind Ding Yuan was Lui Bu, and Lui Bu is a very, very good fighter. And you're dead. So the only thing Dong Zhu can do is let him away. And, well, that's actually pretty much all that happened for this chapter. So the next chapter will be even more exciting. Because the next chapter, I will tell you a little secret now already, is that there will be a battle fight. And the next chapter will also be very sad. And so, since you might be interested already, don't forget to check my next video, chapter 4. Bye-bye!